All right, everybody. This is gonna be my last match for the for using the new character in Dead or Alive Five Ultimate. Uh, hopefully, you've been enjoying these matches. I do uh, play the game at least once a week now to try to get myself back into it. Uh, obviously, not you know, not really seeing much to uh, you know, you haven't been seeing me play all that well because well because of the new character. That's not really an excuse. I'm also not that great at the game getting back into it. I am learning new stuff each week, but you know, you know how it is. You, you learn stuff and hopefully you get better over time. So hopefully you'll see me uh, play better over time here. I'm only doing well right now because this guy is you know, you know relatively new. See if I could try to get something good. That was pretty decent out of. It's gonna be his new gig. <laughs> So over the top of that. Nice. There we go. There's a little something with the air. It can it can do a little bit more, but it, the application of practice practicing these moves and actually using them in an actual game is a lot different than most people ever think. For some people, it's a lot easier than it is others to just apply what they do in practice into the actual game. For me, it's a little bit hard. Like, I need more time. More time practicing each move to do it. Then there are those people that will just play this game, or play any of their fighters, so much that, you know, it just becomes second nature to them. Like, th this and most of the fighting games I play aren't second nature to me. They just are games I enjoy to play. So, hopefully you enjoyed this set. And... Uh, yeah, I'll continue playing on with Dead or Alive 5 at Ultimate, and we'll see how where it goes. And we have uh, last round that's going out in spring of next year for the next generation console, so you'll definitely see something then too.